Ah. Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, asterisk. Um, I have an M3 iMac with a base SSD, so 256, but it has 16 gigs of RAM. And I use this computer for music stuff, but I know that a lot of people want to be running local LLMs. And considering that the Apple machine seemed to do decently on that because of their unified memory setup, I think that I'm going to today download LM Studio in this and then give it a whirl, see how it does with a 7B model, and maybe see if we can get some chat API stuff working with this and just check the performance on this. Just a quick note for anyone who uses Mac, a simple way to screen record is actually by just using QuickTime Player, which comes on your machine. You can actually create a screen recording directly from the app. So the first thing I'm gonna do, mind you, I haven't done this before, so I'm just going along kind of as anyone would who was trying to download this for the first time. I'm just gonna type LM Studio into Google and I go to their website. And it gives me the option right here to download LM Studio for the Apple Silicone machines. So I'm going to click that. We'll open it with Disk Ninja Mounter and downloaded. And one thing I like about this is it seems like a pretty native install experience for anybody who's used to Mac OS. So you just drag it into your applications folder. And I don't know if it made it in or not. Usually it shows the dialogue. There we go. So it did. So I'll do that. I'll go into file. We can eject the disk image applications. And right here, LM Studio. So I'll be launching this now for the first time. And we'll just go through kind of the setup steps or anything like that. Okay, we've got release notes, close, welcome. So it's showing me the first thing here is Llama 8B Instruct, 7B, requires eight plus gigabytes of RAM, which this machine does have. I still believe the stock configuration is unfortunately eight gigabytes of RAM, but for anyone interested in doing this sort of stuff on a Mac, I would highly recommend prioritizing getting at least 16 gigabytes of RAM. I do believe that offering eight gigabytes of RAM still on what are supposed to be premium expensive computers is really shameful, no matter how efficient the memory setup is. So we're downloading this, it's this variant of it, the Q4KS. And I assume this will take a bit of time to complete the download. Cool, it shows you down here, the download progress. So if I click that, it expands it and gives you the screen. First impressions of this so far that it seems really incredibly fit and finish is, is wonderful. I've only used the TextGen web UI and other more code-based solutions. However, this really seems like it can help democratize access to running these things locally for folks who don't have a background in CS or anything like that. And this is really, this is wonderful to see. So the download is just about to finish up. Validating the file integrity, which is good. All right, completed. So I will close this and now I will see what to do next. Now I'm coming into this totally no experience. I've not used this application before. I haven't looked at any tutorials or anything because I just want to kind of experience it through the lens of someone who has not done any of this stuff before. So I will go into this tab here. So here's some, we've got home, search, AI chat, playground, local server, and my models. I think first I will click on AI chat and just see if I can load up my model. I know a lot of my videos involve robots saying inappropriate things, but for this one, it contains a different system prompt. I will accept the new one. For this one, I'll have a little more serious. So we've got RAM usage. 
Now, I would assume that this RAM usage is for the model specifically. I'm not entirely sure. What is that application called? In this new version of OS that monitors the system activity monitor. So for memory, it shows right now that it's using about 12, 13 gigabytes of RAM. So this is just showing up here, the RAM usage, I believe, of the model. So I'm gonna enter a message to it. Um, can you tell me about unified memory? I have no idea. <laughs> and press enter. I don't know how this, wow, this really, speed-wise, very solid. Mind you, this is a, a quantized smaller model, but if you're interested in playing with this stuff and you have a computer like this, this is fantastic, really. This gives such a simple and accessible front end to do this stuff. Now, I just saw my CPU usage there spike to 100%. RAM usage is sitting around five gigabytes. I'm not seeing, okay, good. So it showed 12.6 tokens per second. And good, it stops working correctly. So I'll just kind of scroll through what this said. I'm not gonna read the whole thing on camera, but based off of a quick parse, it seems to be a fairly acceptable answer. Pretty high quality. Let's ask it to generate. Um, some people definitely wanna use this for business purposes. So can you generate a list of five business names to a robotics startup? And we'll see. There's definitely, oh wow, I just saw my CPU spike to 300%, but it's. I have to say, this is fantastic. I am really quite impressed with this whole interface. However, for a pretty much base model machine that I'm using right here, the only upgraded specification for this computer is the 16 gigabytes of RAM. This is fantastic to be able to play with stuff like this for a, a home setup for stuff that a few years ago you, you couldn't have been doing this on your everyday Apple Store Mac. This is really interesting. So now, of course, I've done this. My interest in this is more in we'll check out the playground. You can load multiple models at the same time. Interesting. I don't know that I have a use for that right now, but I do find this interesting. Okay, so I should be able to use this with out changing too much of the code to get my robot to speak with it. Let's see. All right, I'm just going to change that to 5,000 to see if hopefully I just don't have to do any code changes. Go to apply changes. I suppose I'm just going to try playing around with this and then I'll restart the video when I kind of have a grasp on what I'm doing. As I plan to do a quick chat test with this with the robot, just so we can see the speed differential and things of that sort between the LLM machine that I use regularly, I'm just on the LM Studio documentation to test the API. So I'm gonna just paste that in here. We'll see what the response is. Failed to connect. Oh, I may have fudged the IP address here. I didn't fudge the IP address. Um, what happened was that I had neglected to start the server on this iMac, so quickly do this. If I run this command once more. Oh well. Okay, so something seems to be slightly amiss, which I will now <laughs> investigate.
I changed stream to false and I put a quick token limit on it, so now it is working correctly, uh, more or less. So it does take a bit of time to send the response as this is all being generated locally from the iMac, which is, you know, not designed specifically for this sort of task. But it does give me a message response to initialize a git submodule, follow these steps, new line. So, and it gives me a reasonable answer here. So this is a very cool, simple way to test it. And you can also modify some of these different parameters to make it behave differently and so on. I quickly changed the robot's code and I kept everything very simple. I just took the temperature from the divine intellect preset from the text gen web UI, which I like. Um, so hopefully it will be a bit more creative. So I had an audio misconfiguration, which I've now remedied and everything's working pretty well. This is totally cool. I apologize for the inconvenience. Hello there. Yeah, so it had. It's nice to meet you. How can I help you today? So you can see what it's saying here. Can you tell me about the iMac M3's ability to run an LLM? And you can see it, it streams the response in the output here. It is kind of a verbose output. And then once it finishes, Hello there. It sends it. I'm happy to help you with your question. The iMac M1 does not have the capability to run a large language model, LLM, as it is a consumer-grade computer designed for general use, such as browsing the web, checking email, and running productivity software. However, I can suggest some options if you're interested in exploring LLMs. Asterisk you could consider purchasing a more powerful machine, such as a MacBook Pro or a PC with a dedicated graphics card. How are you feeling today? And can you tell me a funny joke? And you can see it takes... Beep boop. <laughs> Be oh, beep boop. I'm feeling quite charged up today. Charged. Thank you for asking. Here's a joke that might make you smile. Why did the robot go on a diet? Because it wanted to lose some bites. Oh, that Where was... were hope that made you giggle? So I think overall, I have to say, this is really impressive what you can do with a simpler machine. And just so you know, the prompt for this was set to your friendly robot and it just sent a hello message, so. Beep boop. <laughs> hello there. I changed the voice. Words and whizzes, I'm happy to chat with you. What's on your mind? Oh, it said. Do you have any questions or topics you'd like <laughs> to discuss? Words and whizzes, like with, with asterisks, so in terms of like role playing kind of thing. No, I'm, uh, I'm all set. I'm just finishing up this video. Thanks. And then you can see it's, <laughs> it's doing that weird thing again where, ah, uh, ah, uh, it's like role playing, which I suppose is pretty cool. Asterisk. Ah, uh, ah. Uh, <laughs> uh, asterisk. Um. Ah, uh, I see. You're wrapping up the video and saying thanks. That's very polite of you. Words and beeps. No, the asterisks are used to simulate a friendly robot speech pattern with a playful tone. Yeah, it didn't... Did, slash P. Did it sounded... Slash details. All right, you're... This is you're... an example of how you can implement this functionality using... Okay, yeah, you've gone, you've gone off track a little... Um, I apologize for that questionable sounding oohs and ahs. So yeah, to sum this up, AI, I mean, you can run this stuff at home for not a ton of money. This computer, you can get an old M2, or yeah, M2 Mac Mini with 16 gigs of RAM that will do a relatively similar job as this. And this robot, I do sell them. It's $199 if you go to Ominous industries.com and I make these myself out of my house so if you like AI stuff and you want to play with it here you go you can pick one up I've got this right up sorry but I like the pink website so it stays and yeah you can have your own robot here put any face on it any personality and so on all right